Hello YouTube, Mayel here. Today I would like to talk about how I was spirited away into happily never after. A few years uh, back, something uh, I noticed something. I I kind of I started to experience like uh, a shift of of uh, perception perception and started to notice how fairy tales and children's movies are laden with real life adult issues uh, that goes deeper than the than um, deeper than just you know body and, and goody and uh, you know that su surface uh, role uh, it seems like there's you know there are warnings in there there are um, very strong and powerful messages in there beyond the just you know the moral don't do that um, the body always get caught and that kind of thing you know I'll give an example here uh, like um, like the Dementors in the Harry Potter's uh, movies I mean to me this is no longer fiction and I remember watching uh, a while back, I remember watching an interview, and I think it was with Oprah and J.K. Rowling, where she explained how she got the, 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 the idea of the Dementors, and that the Dementor represented for her depression, you know, because she went through depression, um, uh, you know, in her like, in younger years, and... Uh, and the Dementor to her was that expression or that representation of of that state of mind. But to me, in my life, the Dementors have taken on a, a complete new um, I've I've got a completely different understanding about <laughs> about the de who what the de who and what the dementors are i mean to me now they they they're real now. and somewhere as well i suspect that because i'm not um well versed uh into this pathology and because i don't have all the proper words to put into not just into my emotions but into the scenes and and everything that's happening to me properly so i think somewhere my mind really kind of uh, has um a way of actually uh resorted itself into pulling scenes from different movies that i've seen you know sometimes you know long long ago to 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 try to cement uh to cement and to help me understand uh, what I've gone through, what I'm going through. On that note, here's a movie called Spirited Away and I watched it about 10 years back with my children when they were very little and in this movie there is a character um, that seemed to capture perfectly the e e essence of narcissism um to me in my mind and as i as i am understanding it and how i see sees the similarities between my husband and one of the uh, one of the character in that movie and uh, and it's quite uncanny to me and that character's name is no face even just the name of that character is so meaningful to me. And uh, when she hero, so as it goes, as the story goes, this is, I'm going to give you some of the highlights here. Um, in that movie, uh, the main character is called She Hero. She's a, she's a 10 year old girl. And when she first meet, uh, no face no face uh, appears you can barely see him he's ghost-like uh, but slowly as the movie evolve 
and how as the little girl uh, pays more attention to him and start talking to him and, and acknowledging him, he become less and less transparent. But somehow no one else pays attention to him except Shihiro. She's very kind to him. And soon no face the ghost-like apparition starts to follow the little girl everywhere. He doesn't talk, but he has a nice face on. He has this mask-like that is that looks very nice and and friendly. He's always helpful. And he always tries to, not just to help her, but he always tries to give her gold too. But as the story, as the story progresses, uh, you see people starting to notice, to take, to notice that No Face actually has gold. So they start fawning over him. They, you see them starting to flock around him and they start catering to his every need basically he snaps his finger and they all come around and they all try to be um, good to him but very soon what happens is that no face wants more and he wants more and he wants more and he slowly transforms into this insatiable beast of a being um, even eventually his own mask uh, starts to not fit his head uh -huh. and uh, and then you know after that he starts basically eating the very people that were feeding him except the little girl she hero well I have a feeling that my husband is just like no face I think narcissism is like no face you know um that hungry beast that nothing and no one can satisfy it but they appear like they masquerade themselves as especially my wolf masquerades himself he masqueraded himself and he still does as a generous man as a humble man as a non-threatening person a layback man uh, a man with no goals, no ambition, no no sense of direction. What he now feels like to me is that loving such a person and taking their gift does come at a very, very, very high price. And for me, it looks very much like over time he has manipulated me into feeding that beast inside of him. And now that the beast's presence, presence is so large and loud and can no longer be ignored or swept under the carpet, um, he's basically threatening to destroy everything in its path if I don't feed it. Because that's just it. It's a hungry beast. And... You don't pay attention to it. You don't do as he says. You don't, you, you don't play the game. He's going to destroy, you know, they are going to destroy anything and everything around you, turning people against you, um, uh, destroying your reputation. Um, and if you want to run away, they are going to make sure that financially you don't do well. I mean, that's exactly that. And if you have children, they are going to turn the children against you. I mean... What else is there? That, that, that looks to me very much as destroying everything. So for me, <laughs> you know, I would like to say that whenever you see you have to face a narcissist, whoever they are, I mean, even though you have a smile on your face, and always make sure you have a smile on your face. Um, to me, I have to anyway. Um... It's a smile on my face, but inside my head, what I see is no face. And 
you know every single one of you over there will have your own kind of uh, mental image that can help you you know comment below and let me know what images you has helped you to um to hold on to the to the reality and the truth of everything i'm going to put a link to the movie and uh, uh for those of you who hasn't who haven't seen spirited away from studio ghibli and i hope you enjoy it and maybe you can let me know what uh what you think of uh, of no face too thank you